you know, it's simply amazing to me that guys with huge followings can just lie to you and get away with it. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. I'm Jesse, this is American Beef Ranch. Stony Ridge Farmer lied. He flat out told a lie and it's completely not true. And you know what? I think he did it on purpose. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't think he did it on purpose. I think Stony Ridge Farmer accidentally, <coughs> accidentally lied to his following, which stinks because he's got a big following. So hopefully maybe in the future he'll correct himself. Stony Ridge Farmer the other day got a new bull and the lighting is terrible right now. He got a new bull and in saying so, he said that Angus cattle, like this one behind me, this is a red Angus cow and her bull calf, are not grass efficient cattle, are not grass genetic cattle. Now, and then, like you said, he got a South Pole bull. He's using that because of the grass genetics. We wanted to be better on grass, blah, 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 blah. He lied, folks. Uh, Angus cattle are definitely grass genetics. You can definitely get grass genetics in Angus cows, and it's not that hard to do. So, I think he unintended, or didn't mean to lie to you guys, but he did. So, let's talk about that just a minute. Okay, so for 15 years, my family has raised grass-fed and finished beef using Angus genetics. Now, I will agree with him that the typical Angus cow will not work for grass-fed beef. It just won't happen. You know, it's just that the um, the commercial market has taken the genetics and run with them, making these cows huge, terminal crosses, blah, 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 and they don't work very well. Okay, and we could go off on a whole spiel on that, but they just don't work very well. But the benefit of Angus is that there's a whole bunch of them, like everywhere, all over the country, there's a whole bunch of Angus cattle, red Angus and black Angus cattle. You can go get all sorts of kinds. Also, that means that there is cattle in there specifically bred to do certain things, uh, whether it's, you know, make really fat calves to go to a feedlot, whether it's be grass genetic calves, maybe something like her, small, compact, round, you know, she has a month old calf by her side and she still looks like she does big and fat. Um, and is able to survive on not very much feed. It, you know, there's all sorts of things that come into play when you're looking at the genetics of cattle. Now, <laughs> I'll be honest, I watch a lot of Stony Ridge Farmers videos. I think he's a good guy, and I think he made an honest mistake. He, the way that he implied a certain thing that Angus cannot be grass genetic, I think he did that accidentally. You know, and, and I think he, he's a guy that's learning a lot about cattle. He, you know, he doesn't really have the, maybe the whole experience that a lot of people have. Uh, you know, my family's been doing this for 15 years. I can tell you the grass-fed product when we first started was terrible. It was awful. The beef was terrible. But after years of trial and error, we got to the point where it is really good. You know, and it is possible to be really good. And our cattle are just purely Angus cattle. Red and black Angus, we have both. Uh, we typically prefer red Angus, but you could do the same thing on the black side for whatever reason if you wanted to. But what I'm saying is a lot of grass-based and grass genetics comes down to obviously picking animals that are better suited for that, whether they're more efficient on grass, smaller framed, more compact, you know, all of those things. But it also comes down to how you manage those cattle. Managing cattle is probably one of the biggest things that people kind of forget about. Like, yeah, you can go buy a good set of cattle, but you still have to manage those cattle into the kind of cattle that you want to have. You have to, you know, cull the proper cows. You have to make sure you're always bringing in the right kind of bulls. And if you do things willy-nilly, crossbreed here, do this here, you may end up with a whole bunch of mutts that, you know, could end up to be a more terminal animal, and that's not something you want to end up with. So, guys, short video for you today. Thanks for watching. It, <laughs> this is no... No, no, I have nothing bad to say about Stony Ridge Farmer at all. Like, I think he's a good guy. I think he's doing a lot for regenerative agriculture. Totally love what he's doing, but he did lie to you just a little bit. And uh, I guess uh, that's all I got to say today. No, wait. Is that all I got to say today? Maybe so. Maybe not. I don't know. But don't you love Faye? Just look at Faye. She's so beautiful. Registered Red Angus cow, her first calf. They look good together. It's a good pair. Man, it's a beautiful day here in February. Well, thanks for watching. See you later.